I mean, I'm old enough to remember when you had Labour voters, Lib Dem voters, SNP voters, and we all just came along. And when there was an election, you just accepted the result. What's changed? Um, I have absolutely no idea. I'm a swing voter. I think I voted for everybody at some point, trying to find some, one of them to believe in. They all disappoint me. And then I don't vote for them again. But um, the, the, the popularity of uh, Nicola Sturgeon really baffles me. The unpopularity of the BBC doesn't at all. I think a lot of people absolutely despise the BBC. They just don't say so in public. And obviously there's no reason for abusing this poor woman. But um, there's definitely, you know, the, 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 the BBC, there's, there's legitimate criticisms to be have, had of the BBC in, in certain senses. Um, but Nicola Sturgeon, I wrote a Mail Plus column about this, actually. I find it absolutely baffling that Scot the Scots are so behind her, which they apparently they seem to be. They say, say this in all the opinion polls. Um, she's made an absolute mess of everything, as far as I can tell. Um, and sp in, in terms of COVID, I mean, I think people long for the kind of this COVID authoritarian, you know, Remainers in London just love the idea that she, she wants to force the whole of Scotland to be in masks forever. But she's forcing kids up there to sit in classrooms with the windows open in the middle of winter and then she said she came up with this ridiculous plan to spend five million to to um to improve ventilation um and including three hundred thousand pounds on cutting the, the the bottoms off the doors and this is just nonsense it's a colossal waste of money and i just don't understand what's going on with the scots like wh why do they like this woman